Another successful science festival kicked off in Grahamstown, one of the attractions this year were the hydrogen workshops. Hydrogen is the simplest element. An atom of hydrogen consists of only one proton and one electron. It is the most common element in the world and can be found in things like water, which is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen. Dr. Henrietta Langmi, who specializes in hydrogen, was flown in from Pretoria to talk about the advantages of this renewable energy source. Hydrogen is seen as a very promising alternative um, form of energy to fossil fuels uh, because hydrogen is very clean. When you uh, use hydrogen to generate energy, you don't get any carbon dioxide emissions. Local Grahamstown scientist Dr. Garth Cambray is also a renewable energy activist. For him, it isn't just about talking the talk. He actually practices what he preaches. Dr. Cambray was one of the project managers who propelled the wind farm in Grahamstown. If I could make a little corner for myself where I live by my principles, which is to use renewable fuel as much as possible, then at least that's one footprint off the planet. So my, my footprint, I grow my own food, I try to provide my own energy and um, you know, in a year or two I'll shift this whole house to actually running on solar. I, I do believe that there are better alternatives than hydrogen just given that it's very explosive and it's you know I, the idea of having a whole lot of cars with tanks of hydrogen parked down a street and one of those explodes you'll have a knock-on explosion down the whole street and basically destroy a town. I believe hydrogen is no more dangerous than other fuels. And in fact, hydrogen has some safety advantages. Because hydrogen is very light, once it is released, it can disperse very easily upwards away from the point of discharge. And therefore, the flame will burn very quickly. Dr. Cambray has a different view on hydrogen. He believes that there are better alternatives than using hydrogen to fuel cars, for example. The old Land Cruiser runs on biodiesel, which is made from waste cooking oil from campus. In an old vehicle like that, I'd say it actually probably works a bit better, um, because it's closer to the fuel that that vehicle was designed for. In a new vehicle like my Fortuna, my Toyota Fortuna, if I put that in, it would probably destroy the engine. So old vehicles run very well on, on renewable fuel. So you can crack um, wood chips into diesel, you can convert you know, rubbish like molasses into ethanol which can, cut, can, can reduce the footprint of some of one's petrol. With diesel or petrol, the, once it is released and there's ignition, it would burn around the point of discharge and it doesn't burn very quickly, which means that the casualties that might be involved in an accident involving uh, diesel or petrol would be more than that involving hydrogen. Yeah, hydrogen as an energy source is, is a, it's an interesting one. In my opinion, it's not actually a very good energy source because it's very difficult to compress and it is very difficult to produce. So the amount of energy that you can get out of the hydrogen, you have to spend almost the same amount of energy compressing it. Dr. Langmi recognizes that there is a bit of work that needs to be done to get the most out of hydrogen. Um, in order to drive a car for a range of, say, 500 kilometers, you need five kilograms of hydrogen. Now, without, compress without compression, that five kilograms of hydrogen will occupy a volume of about 55,000 liters. So imagine, that is the amount of space that the hydrogen will take and it is not practical. Hydrogen as a renewable source of energy sounds promising but more research and development needs to be done for it to be reliable. In the meantime, finding other practical and efficient <laughs> renewable energy sources is important. Perhaps the solution lies within the next generation of scientists. What do you we can't develop and get to a new fuel source as such as hydrogen, because hydrogen is safer and better for the environment.